this is an update on my no shampoo experience. I have a video in my um, on my YouTube channel, a handful, several videos back, and it was uh, I had made it um, when I had first tried washing my hair with this baking soda wash. So prior to that, gonna, you can go watch that video if you want. I'm not going not gonna to give you too much of information I've already repeated in there, but I had basically had some attempts at the no shampoo thing and failed attempts really. I think with longer hair, people with longer hair don't have as much success with straight up no shampoo than people with short hair because for some reason the buildup really sticks on there. Um, and so it was late August, early September that I had come across this um, Dr. Sam Bailey's channel. She's She's got this cute little New Zealand accent. She's a doctor and she's into like natural health and that sort of thing. And so she had this video on her experience with no shampoo. I'm not going to say it, what everyone else calls it. <laughs> um, and very similar to my experience. Like it worked for her husband who had short hair and, and her long hair. It just didn't work for her. It was just, just kind of a disaster. And so she came across this method of using <clears throat> baking soda and water to wash her hair. She also uses uh, apple cider vinegar water rinse, but I don't feel like that's necessary for me, so I don't actually use that. I've just been using the baking soda and the water. And so that's when I first tried that baking soda wash. That was two and a half months ago, and I was blown away with the success of it. My hair was so clean, so smooth afterward. I didn't need any conditioner. And uh, I've been continuing to do it probably about once a week. I wash my hair with the baking soda wash. You guys, I shower everywhere else more often than that. So don't worry. But uh, the hair thing, um, I can go longer periods before I need to wash it. Um, the cool thing with the baking soda wash too is... Uh, Okay, so you all know what I'm talking about here. Like when you don't wash your hair for a while and you get that stinky, greasy, <laughs> dirty hair smell. Um, because of the baking soda, when I wash with it, I can go longer periods of time in between and you don't, kids, you don't start to smell that like stinky smell that comes from the greasy hair. So that's a bonus. Uh, so it is a tablespoon per cup of water. I do two cups of water with two tablespoons because I have a lot of hair. And um, I'm going to show you, oh boy, I'm about to go to the gym. So I got my gym bag and I've got this tangle teaser brush that I use. Um, this is really good for dealing with flaky scalp because like that's something that I have struggled with throughout my life. But the baking soda wash has almost completely eliminated it. And then also the tangle teaser brush. So like when I wash with this baking soda wash, I put it in like this squeeze bottle and get the hair wet and then distribute it pretty evenly across the scalp and then on you know the underside just gets oily oilier there and I scrub with that tangle teaser brush with the baking soda water in there and then just rinse really 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 well and it is it is shocking to me that I don't need any conditioner I don't I haven't put any kind of oils or anything in my hair and look it's really clean um there might be the occasional flake in there but it's significantly less than it used to be with any okay so like I went to beauty school I had the special little card where you can go to the salon um, retailer and get the the special shampoo that you can only buy in the salon I had tried so many different types of shampoo and over time like my hair just didn't seem as healthy uh, the scalp was dry and itchy and flaky I just didn't have any success. I think my scalp is just more sensitive or something like that. Maybe a lot of people have more sensitive scalps, but they just don't know it. Um, that it's just like clean and smooth and like it doesn't smell weird. And I'm just amazed. Okay. Cause I've had baking soda in my kitchen cabinet for all these years and I never thought to try it until watching Dr. Sam Bailey's video. And it's, it's been a huge success. Okay, so not only are you saving money because baking soda is so, so, so inexpensive, but you're saving all that packaging. Think about all the packaging that you pitch a year in a year using regular shampoo and conditioner. Um, 
And then also I think about all the, the, the detergents and all the different kinds of lab created chemicals that we wash down the drain. Some of that gets into the water system. You know, it's not a hermetically sealed system, the pipes um, in an, into the soil. It's, I just, it just doesn't seem like a good idea for the planet. And so all around it has been, it's been life changing. Okay. It sounds dramatic, but it is actually completely amazing. Um, let's see, have I said everything about this? Yeah, so it's been, I haven't used shampoo in many months. Um, I've been using the baking soda for two and a half months. And I don't think I'll ever go back to regular shampoo. I just, I just don't see it happening. I don't see it as necessary. Um, it's pretty freaking fantastic. So if you guys have, like, if you try it and you don't have, like, success, maybe put some comments and maybe I can give you some pointers. I don't know. Maybe if you try it and you like it and you're amazed, let me know. But, uh, oh, so I have one other pointer that I've figured out. Um, because the underside of the hair tends to get oilier because I slather myself in oils. And then, of course, the hair touches your neck and gets all oily. <laughs> um, so... I have one of these, these don't damage the hair. And so I'll put my hair up in a loose bun. Like when I go to sleep, okay, so like I'll get, I'll get ready for bed and put on all my oils, put my frownies on. Uh, before I do that, I put my hair up in the bun so that my hair isn't touching my face as I have all those oils on it. And then also I think having it up in the bun while, my, while I sleep kind of distributes any of the oils that are on this side of the hair to the rest of the hair and kind of balances out the oil. I just, I cannot believe the only thing I've been putting on my hair is baking soda water. N no conditioner, no leave-in conditioner, nothing like that, completely natural. And um, I'm, I'm just, I really like the results. Yeah, so sleeping in a bun I think helps if, as far as like the oils that happen under the neck. Um, there you have it, no shampoo update. I, I think it's, I have, let's, let's think about this. So it's definitely been two and a half months for the baking soda wash. Before that, I think it was two months, no shampoo. So like close to five months, maybe uh, give or take of no regular shampoo and, and just loving it. Thanks for watching and have a great, awesome, amazing day. Bye for now.